Hey guys, we made it to Byron, yeah! That's right, we've made it to Byron. Undoubtedly the hippie epicenter of Australia, a place where if you wear shoes, you're probably the minority. We've been coming to Byron for years, ever since we arrived onto the shores of Australia back in 2014. There is an infinite amount of things to do here, but with so many other places to visit in Australia on the East Coast, we wanted to show you how to tackle Byron Bay in just 24 hours. Located on the far north coast of New South Wales, it is also home to Australia's most easterly point. It's known for its spectacular beaches, unique shopping, cafes and dining experiences. Oh, and a certain Chris Hemsworth resides here too. But before we get going, we'd really appreciate a like on this video and perhaps even a cheeky subscribe. We love growing our YouTube community and we'd love for you to be part of this amazing online family. So let's kick off this day, sunrise. You cannot visit Byron and not witness the beautiful sunrise over the Pacific Ocean from Cape Byron Lighthouse. Start the day with some exercise by tackling the loop track through the National Park and if you're lucky, you may even see some dolphins in the morning. Then take the descent back into town where some of the best cafes and coffees await. Brecky, if you've been to Australia before, you know that Aussies are known for their amazing coffee. It's essentially an art form and one we like to enjoy every day. They take pride in their coffee and for good reason too, it tastes so delicious. You are definitely sport for choice in Byron, but our favourite has to be Bayleaf. Bayleaf work with some of the best suppliers sourcing local produce in the Northern Rivers region. Sit down and treat yourself to the yummiest food and coffee there is to offer and if you don't have the time, you can always grab a takeaway from their shop directly next door. Now that you've had your caffeine hit and a full belly, why not stretch those legs once again in town? Byron's town is home to some of the best fashion stores in the world. Whether you're a surfer, skater, boho queen, or just generally like to keep up with the trends, then checking out the clothing stores are a must. Some of Australia's leading fashion brands all originated here in Byron, and the town itself is still worth walking around, and you might even pick up some other cool items too. So, as you know, we've been building the bus for the past four months and we've been after some indigenous art for so long and we've just bought a few. So happy. If you're finding it a bit too crowded in town, you may wish to escape to a place just 10 minutes outside of Byron called The Farm. We've made it to The Farm. What started as a small business has flourished over the years. The farm's motto is grow, feed and educate. It's an 80 acre working farm and home to a community of growers, educators, producers and eateries. The fields are home to pigs, Scottish Highland cattle and chickens who all roam the farm freely. Take a relaxed walk across the fields of flowers and row upon row of lush greens and vegetables, all used and sold on site in the shop. Three Blue Ducks, a restaurant on site which was started by five mates, is now a famous Australian institution and a perfect place to grab a bite to eat. So I think for now we're going to go and take a little walk, maybe go and see some of the animals and enjoy the beautiful sunshine. A visit to Byron wouldn't be complete without heading to the beach, so it's time to grab a beach tower and relax on one of the amazing beaches in this region. Main Beach is the obvious choice for most since it's the closest to town, but our favourite has to be Tallow Beach. Located just south of Cape Byron Lighthouse, it's only 3k from town and home to the best surf breaks in Australia. If you're a surfer, you can't visit Byron Bay and not get out there for a cheeky surf. And if you're a beginner, you may also want to try your hand at some surfing lessons. With pricing starting from just 55 bucks for a two hour lesson, you can tick this off your bucket list. So after a fun filled day of shopping and activities, it's definitely time to have a beer. Let's go taste some beers. Luckily for you, the Stonewood Brewery is bang in the center of Byron and is home to some of Australia's freshest tasting ales. Whilst it was only founded in 2008, it has quickly become a household name on the east coast of Australia. Known for its delicious pale ale, the brewery tour is well worth doing. Otherwise, just grab a tasting paddle and sip on some limited edition beers and take home some souvenirs with you. So we might have gone a little bit stone with crazy. We've got the beer cooler, we've got a carton of cloud catcher, a lovely corduroy hat <laughs> and fantastic memories. After your beers, well, it's time for dinner. Similarly with the cafes here in Byron, there is an abundance of restaurants to choose from. Across the years, we've had everything from Thai to Mexican, but today we settled for some burgers. After all, you can never go wrong with a good old Aussie burger and chips. Then to top off your day, why not check out a movie? Located on the lovely Johnson Street in the heart of Byron is Palace Cinemas. This definitely is an experience in itself where you can take advantage of a fully licensed bar and even take your drinks in with you. Showcasing a mix of quality blockbusters, international and Australian art house films. So that just about tops off our recommendations for spending 24 hours in Byron Bay. 
There are plenty more things to do and see here, and you can easily spend more than just a day. But if you are short on time, perhaps this will help with some ideas and making the most of your time here. If you happen to be spending more time in Northern New South Wales, then why not check out our other vlog where we share our top five places to see in this region. We hope you enjoyed this video of Byron. Let us know if you'd like us to share more videos like this of places in Australia. See you on the next vlog.